All right, guys, we're gonna do a video inside. We're gonna put a shelf together. Went to Lowe's and got one to organize my like office area, uh, armory office, storage tools, stuff we'll do videos in, you know, assembling things or uh, gear, things like that. We'll get the bushcraft videos too later. It's a little of everything. Now when you go to Lowe's and get one of these shelves, you want to check the box, make sure it ain't open. This one had a little hole, but all the other ones, all the other five, six, the flaps were tore open. You don't want to get something like that because you may be missing parts and you have to keep going back and forth. And, you know, so. And if, it's, it's fairly heavy, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds. So if you can't pick something up like that, just have the Lowe's people load it in your car or truck. And when you get to your house, just open the box inside your car and just take the parts out and bring them in. It makes it lighter. It's not too bad. And you don't have to worry about getting something that's too heavy you can't move. It's a cat. And uh, we'll get it put together, see how it works out. And then we'll get into the room and uh, see how the room goes. I want to paint the walls eventually, but for now I want to get it organized. It's just stuff just stacked up in totes, and you know it's hard to do anything. So we'll start getting shelves. We'll probably end up getting because I probably do two long shelves, and it has like a little you can make it like a table. So I'll do two tables, the two shelves on each side of the table in the center, and get stuff off the shelf, work on the table, and all that. All right. It also says. Includes exclusive tools for assembly. No hassle assembly. So we'll find out how that works. For most experienced assembling things, the tools they give you just some trash. So. But we'll get it we'll get it taken out of this box. We'll lay out the things and we'll see what kind of tool they give us. If it's no hassle or not. Says the shelf will hold a total of four thousand pounds. I like it because it has a, uh, it's got these little, it's not really wood, I guess, composite wood, compressed wood, sawdust, shelves. The metal great ones are kind of nice, but if you have smaller things put on there to fall through, uh, certain things won't stand up. I know before the shelf, I think it was 89, now it's 129, which, you know how things are nowadays, shit just keeps going up. But, and all the stuff. All right, got everything out. Here's their uh, instructions they shoved in the box. So far, I haven't seen no easy tools. Got some of these little plastic things. I think they're, uh, yeah, made kind of help lock the shelves in. It's got these two little metal pins and some feet, so they don't punch holes in the floor. These little strips, when you put the two halves of the shelves together, you just wrap them around, kind of locks them in. Kind of. Oh, this is an installation tool, apparently. Uh, when you get these, be careful with them. It's that, uh. It's like sawdust compressed together. It's real, uh. You could probably just break this real easy, so I'd be careful. Once they're laying flat on the shelves, you'll be all right. Now I think about it, I thought it was like a metal shelf and then you laid on top like a wire, but I guess it's not. Hmm. I don't know how they're gonna hold 400 pounds unless they have a cross bracing in them. I'll get it, really. I've never messed with these, so just 
be what's what. Okay, this is the. Side to side pieces. I hope they do have cross bracing in there because that board feels that board feels really flimsy. It says 400 pounds per shelf. That's uh, that maybe a little bit of a stretch. Got these little metal metal pieces. These are your corner pieces. Your shelf piece will click in and slide down and lock. You don't want to go the other way around. If you put them upside down, and your shelf will just sit there and it can fall out. That way, it allows it to go in and then slide down and lock, and then it can't pull up. And <clears throat> They have like a hardwood floor or something like that. They have these little rubber pieces. Not rubber, plastic, but you know, they just go on the bottom. You just kind of pop them in there. And that'll keep it from, uh, should keep it from leaving like an indent on, in your floor. If you have carpet, I guess it doesn't matter much. Shouldn't really mess a floor up. <clears throat> I should look see which way it was up, but so yeah, it has these little slots. They just fit in and then lock down. I'm gonna have to look. I feel like that's the inside. Cause it has a little lip where the wood will sit. Like I said, I never installed them. I'm just browsing the instructions real quick. So I figure somewhere in there. And sometimes you'll need a like a rubber hammer or a heavy boot or something and tap these down with a lock in. It'll lock in. Sometimes the holes aren't uniform and all that. <clears throat> and then you can push down on it and it'll click. Click and lock. You can, I guess you can put it on the very bottom one. But the floor is just a hair uneven or something. The shelf will sit all weird. I probably should have opened everything, but. Oh yeah, same thing. No, I guess there is no cross bracing which makes it fairly really honest in there. <clears throat> Sometimes you look at instructions just to give you a, a quick idea. I feel like I'm missing my little short supports to go cross place. Maybe I got bamboozled. Let me open these boxes and make sure. I'm sure they're in there. <laughs> All right, I did. <laughs> I did find the short pieces. They were in the box. They just had them double stacked. It was, it was all long pieces. But sometimes you do get, when you buy stuff in boxes and you can't see everything, you'll get things messed up. So. Keep your receipt to your dome. I'm just going uh, the second hole up, leaving just a little bit of a hole underneath. <clears throat> I usually don't like that because something rolls under there and you have the whole shelf stacked up. And you're never going to get what it is most of the time. Some of those are a little hard to push down. If you get them just enough and you're building in place, when you set your stuff on it, it's gonna help click it down. But like I said, if you had a like heavy shoe or something, you can tap this. You wanna be careful because it is a, 
It is a kind of light gauge. I wouldn't say steel, but some kind of metal. Not quite beer can, but not, not wheel. I'm gonna use these little plastic feet. Yes, it does have a Got a little lip on the inside. That's where your wood's gonna sit. But just don't get too too in a hurry where you don't have to take it back apart. You wanna you wanna just uh, take it a little easy. I'm gonna get the whole bottom first one down because it looks like these are kind of a little bit of a bend in them. They're not, they're not super duper. I guess it's the old saying, get what you pay for, but that's for some shells, for some camping gear. <coughs> Stuff like that, I wasn't gonna spend four hundred dollars on a shelf set. But yeah, there you go. That's the bottom part, and you can. I don't know if I should. Oh, we'll see if it fits. Both got the same finish on each side. Which then you'll just this guy. Oh, there you go. They don't want to apply a whole bunch of pressure trying to force it down because this stuff will just snap in half. I Man, I can't see 400 pounds on this shelf. Guarantee if I step on this, it's gonna break in half. And I don't weigh no 400 pounds. Well, as you can see, well, it's hard to see, but it hasn't went all the way down in the hole. So, you just tap it down, and then seat it all the way down at the bottom. So the wider shelf will be uneven. And a shoe. Works pretty good, you just gotta be careful with this little rib. But from the looks of it, this wood don't, this stuff kinda, it flexes the wood, you know. No sense getting all too critical on this junk. Just, a, I would say a cheap shelf, but it's really not that cheap. I don't know, 130 bucks is, Nowadays, it's more shit, but used to be. Well, let's see what happens is these they twist a tiny bit. You gotta kind of get them in there and tap it, and it'll kind of straighten it out. But this is where the first shelf, the second shelf's gonna be, kind of where you can stand and do things. And off the side, the other one will go up. And I'll buy another set, which will go up on each side. Then you have camping gear. You can lay it here, move it around. All that good stuff. I was looking at... Craftsman has a nice bench. Like a tall bench. And I have a window. I thought about putting, getting that bench putting across from the window. It's a stand-up bench. I think it was about this high. You can make a nice... Armor's bench, uh, gear, prepared and assembly, things like that. This wood doesn't seem to have a up or down side, from what I could tell. I guess whatever side's not as dirty or whatnot. 
be very careful with it. It's like a wet oatmeal almost. I'm disappointed there's no supports across, at least just one across the center. If you had anything that was substantial weight in the center, this is going to bust right through. So I guess it's 400 pounds spread evenly. <laughs> Which I mean, no one has stuff spread evenly. So that's the one side done. And if you wanted, you could go up another one. It's got these little, uh, well, it's weird because it only has two. Two locking pins. Oh yeah, it's showing using a little rubber mallet, even though it said, uh, you know, pulls included, but. Uh, then there's a sticker. There's a sticker and it says these tools included. So they wrap the corner here. It's like a, like a little corner lock piece when you set your next set as you put them on top of here. Okay, they set up on top of here and it just like, I guess it keeps it from falling off. Which I may just do the next one on over. So that's basically how you put them together. It's not real hard. Uh, like I said, a rubber hammer or a shoe where you can seat these eyelets. And then you won't, it won't fall apart. It's not, it's not heavy like this. So you could do uh, this, push it around wherever you need it, assemble it in place. But it seems to be a decent size. I believe it was uh, 24 inches by 48 inches, seven foot. So. Oh no, it seems all right. So we'll get it in the, the bunker armory gear room. It's called gear room. And uh, see how it works. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.